Hi there, in this tutorial I'm giving an overview of the layers panel in Photoshop. I'm using CS4, uh, if you're on a different version it should be fairly similar, there might be one or two things that are slightly different. Uh, this tutorial is mainly aimed at people that are reasonably new to Photoshop, but if you've been using it a while, you'll probably still find one or two things in here which you didn't already know. Um, so if you've not got your layers panel open, go up to Window and Layers is about halfway down there, or you can click F7. So this is what your layers panel will look like when you first open an image in Photoshop. You've just got your one layer there with your photograph on it. And to begin with, let's have a look at this bottom section here. Uh, so if you click on this one here, that will open a new blank layer. And so you can draw on that layer. Um, and it won't affect your image underneath. So you can just turn that on and off there and the image underneath is completely unaffected. And next to that, uh, this button creates a little folder so you can keep things organized. This is particularly useful if you've got a lot of layers open at once. So if I open another layer in here, you can just drop those in by, by dragging them to the, the folder itself. Now I'll just draw another shape in there. And one of the great things about this is um, you can then affect these as a group. So um, you can turn off all of the layers within that group just with one button. You can change um, the opacity of the entire group um, and many other things. Um, but predominantly it's just really useful for keeping everything organized. Next to that, you've got your adjustments layers uh, drop down menu. Now, these are really useful if you get into non destructive editing, which I definitely recommend you do. Um, what I mean by that is rather than adding an adjustment directly to a photograph, um, you would go to this menu and, for example, let's open a levels, and that creates this adjustment layer. And so if I adjust the levels here in the adjustments panel and that opens automatically when you open a um, adjustment layer, you can see that that's affected the picture there. But if I turn that off now, the picture underneath is the same as it's always been. And so that's really useful. Um, particularly when you start doing complicated edits um, because you can always tweak things later down the line so you don't have to worry about going too far um, with a certain adjustment um, if you want to open that adjustments panel again and retweak the effect uh, just double click on this bit here and it'll open that panel up and then it's also got a mask in there as well and so next along is the button to apply masks to whichever layers you want. So if you click on that, that'll create a mask. I'm not going to go into detail about how to use masks in this tutorial. I'll probably cover that in another one. Next along, uh, you've got the effects dropout menu or styles as they're commonly known. And so if I click on drop shadow, for example, that'll open this dialog box. Uh, you'll notice down the side here all of these different effects they're the same ones that are in that menu there so you've actually got access to all of them from this one um, dialog box so these are the controls for the drop shadow which we've got selected at the moment if I select for example outer glow those are the controls for that um, now let's just OK that and turn this layer on. You can see that's got a drop shadow on there. I'm actually going to change that up a bit though now. You can see uh, what it's done, it's added this little sub menu to this layer here. So if I double click on the drop shadow there, it opens the dialog box up again and I can readjust things. So let's change 
the size and opacity. Again, I'm not going to go into any great deal, detail about how to use these different dialogues. I'll probably cover that in a new, another tutorial. So let's OK that. Um, and that's just another non-destructive um, way of editing your images as well that's really useful. Also, you'll notice these have the little eyes like all the other layers, so you can turn either that one effect on on and off or if you've got multiple effects on this one layer um, and you click on the one where it says effects that'll turn all of them on and off much like the group uh, or the, the folder uh, layer and next to that you've got a little chain link there now that's for linking together two or more layers so if I just control and click layer 2 there and then click on the link you'll see these little links appear and that's just linked these two layers together so for example if I went to move uh, the white layer it moves the red one as well because they're linked together and to unlink them literally you just click on the link again so let's have a look at this top section now just at the bottom here on the left hand side you've got the lock options the first one uh, if we click on that what that does is that will lock down the transparent um, areas of any given layer um, so to illustrate that at the moment we've got this white layer selected so if I draw on it with a black brush you can see that it's only affecting the area where there's pixels already I can't draw on the the transparent area at all and that's really useful if you want to keep things contained within a certain area for example next along this little uh, paintbrush icon will lock down the pixel areas um, in your image so if I try and draw on that now you'll get this nice little message saying that you can't draw on it at all. Uh, the next one along that locks down any movement so if I try and move this now um, again you'll get another message saying it's locked and you can't move it and then this last one locks all of those things so if there's certain parts of an edit that you've been working on that you just want to make sure that you um, don't accidentally um, you know go over something you can just lock down that layer and you'll know that it's completely safe then so next we've got the opacity and fill now these are very similar in a way um, with one main difference if I go onto this red layer again and change the opacity um, um, you'll notice that it not only changes the opacity of the red layer but also of the drop shadow at the edge here and sometimes you might want to keep that drop shadow as it is but make the opacity of um, the actual layer that it's attached to lower and if that's the case well then you'd use the fill and you can see there I can drop the fill, I can drop it right down to nothing but the drop shadow is um, still visible and that goes for all the um, effects all of the styles that you can apply to a layer so if I was to apply an outer glow or you know a bevel or, or any one of any one of them um, of these different effects and then use the fill it the fill won't affect those styles next along we've got uh, this is the blend modes um, drop down menu and this is really useful um, it's something that I use quite a bit in my images um, what this does if I apply this to this red layer this basically blends the pixels from this layer um, together with the pixels of whatever's underneath um, in various different ways um, again I'm not going to go into any massive detail as to each of these what each of these things do um, I'll probably cover that in another tutorial or you can just have a play about with them yourself uh, if I just skip through them you can see um, you get different effects depending on which blend mode um, you've got selected um, and you can really get creative with this it's definitely worth um, having a play about with 
because um, you can really do some pretty cool stuff with that. Okay, so also in the layers panel, that's all the main buttons covered. You've also got this very um, discreet little drop down menu here. Uh, in there, you've got things like adding a new layer, duplicate group, um, and then also if you right click in this bottom section below the background layer you can change the size of the thumbnails you can go right down to having no thumbnails at all like that um, to having the large thumbnails um, which I find the most useful and finally um, there's another little function which is very much hidden away um, and this is how you clip together two different layers. So if I hold down Alt and then hover between these two layers, you'll see that the hand changes to this little icon of two sort of circles. Now if I click there, well then you'll see this move over with a little arrow. And now this layer two is basically attached to the layer below it. And any areas where it's transparent um, sort of stay transparent and again I mean this is a, a really useful um, little feature um, for doing various different edits and techniques it's particularly great if you're doing anything with graphics or text um, and a really useful little function that's kind of hidden away there so that covers just about everything with the layers panel hopefully you found that useful um, if you did, it's definitely worth you going over to my channel. Uh, there'll be lots more videos there, and you can subscribe and whatnot. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.